Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how we use Merch Hunter within Merch Informer. All right, so I'm here in Merch Informer right now, and they just released this new sort of feature tool called Merch Hunter, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how we use it to create t-shirt designs. So when you're in Merch Informer, you want to go over to the side here and head over to Merch Hunter. It's the one with the, like, I think it's a flame. It's a fire flame. And then from here, the cool thing is you can search by best sellers and then by sales rank. So from one to 100,000 or 100,000 and above. So this is what we've been doing and how I've been coming up with ideas is I go all the way down to 1,000, then I go 100,000 and above, and then I click search. It's going to give me the results, and there's about 1,000 results, and there's 10 pages of ideas. Now what I do is I go the opposite of where everyone else is going, so most people we're going to start on page one. I go all the way back to page 10. All right, so when we get to this area right here, this is page 10. So this is like products number 900 to 1,000 because I believe there's 100 on each page. And as you can see, there is uh, 15 sales per month. So it's not obviously as much as page one. Page one probably has way more. But if you've been watching my videos, our strategy is not to go after those ones. Our strategy is to go after the little crumbs that people leave behind that aren't creating designs on. So ones that don't have as much competition. So I'm just going to go through here. And this is like live. I haven't gone through these beforehand or anything. And these change uh, every day. So it says here, I love dogs paw print heart shirt. That sells an approximately 15 a month. And, you know, I'll just go through and I'll see if anything piques my interest and see if, you know, I'm interested in, in designing any of these. You can potentially go and design any of these shirts. Um, and obviously, don't copy them. Do your own version and don't make it, like, similar to them. Make it different. Oh, here's a good one here. My spirit animal. Okay, cool. So, they did... A sloth and if you know this kind of thing uh, like my spirit animal is like when people really really like something they call it their spirit animal and they'll call anything a spirit animal like it doesn't even have to be an animal it can be like chocolate or tacos some people say like people go all over the place with it it's just like a funny joke so I just got an idea right now I would go and look at that my spirit animal and they did sloth, so I would go and do other animals. I would go and do a monkey because I feel like that's my spirit animal, the chimpanzee. So I would do like a monkey, probably um, with different font. Um, I think I would make my design in color. Theirs is in black and white. So before I even think about creating a design, I actually just want to check a couple of things. I want to check the trademark. Okay, there's no trademark on that, and all I did was click on trademark check, and then it opens up Trademarkia, and it, it puts that phrase in for me, so it saves me the time of actually having to go and do that. So that's good. Okay, that's a check mark. You can also check the BSR and the price history. So for the past month, you know, this shirt has been selling, the rank has been going up and down, but... Um, it has been going up and down, which means it's been selling and then sometimes not selling and then sometimes not. So that's cool with me as long as it has sold. I'm good with that. So I would actually take this idea now, my spirit animal, and I wouldn't do sloth because someone already did sloth. So I would go and do a whole bunch of other animals. Everyone's obsessed with like every little thing. So I would go and do one, like I said, I would go and do one for me, which is um, the chimpanzee monkey. Arit would probably be like, oh, do one for the lion. And you can literally take this idea and 
put your own spin to it. Now we have a lot of slots. We have like 1500 slots right now. About half of those, actually more than half of those are open right now. So I would go and do a bunch of different kind of animals because I do have that space to play around with. So that was one of them. That was a live idea that I just thought of right now. Scrolling through. That's cool. That's a, that's a cool design. The Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. It's like a city type shirt, but I'm sure a lot of people are doing like Skyline City shirts. Um, okay, here's one here. Um, I love American football. So again, I'm getting an idea here. It says love, but then they've got a football. You can go and do that with any sport. It could be a tennis ball, a basketball, a golf ball. It doesn't even have to be sports. It could be a coffee thing, a coffee cup, chips, burger. So you can see that, you know, when I go through here, I'm not necessarily taking that specific idea and copying it because we can't do that anymore. And obviously if you're and if you're creating the exact same design as someone else, you're just you're not setting yourself up for a win. So I use this to grab ideas. So that would be another one, and I would go and check the trademark. It's fine. You know, and I think I could create, like, a, a better design than this one. Um, I don't know if I would do it exactly like this, where it's, like, a boxy type thing. I would maybe change the design, but this the concept, I would do the same. Another one here that I'm looking at is the This Is How I Roll. And they've got, like, a, a school bus. Again, I'm not going to do that one with a school bus. I could change it and maybe put, like, a golf cart, a monster truck, like, whatever other type of vehicle. And let's just check here the trademark check. Now, sometimes, you know, it's it puts this whole long thing, and obviously people aren't going to trademark that long phrase. So I just want to check this is how I roll. So I'm going to click backspace and then click enter. So there is no trademark, so that's cool. And then I would do this is how I roll, but um, I would do a different vehicle or maybe not even a vehicle. And I would optimize this better because this person just wrote this is how I roll over and over again. <laughs> um, so I would make the text a lot better as well. And again, I wouldn't have thought of this, like I wouldn't have thought of this type of shirt if I didn't come in here into Merchant Former and go through these ideas. All right, in this one here, my wand chose me and then they have like an instrument. I'm get that's an oboe instrument. You can do that for anything. You can do that for golf, for tennis, for whatever. It could be an instrument or not an instrument. So as you can see, my mind works in the way of I see something and then I'm going to put my own spin to it because I don't want to copy that person and potentially get a strike or a copyright infringement um, or a complaint or anything like that. So I use this to come up with ideas and we've been creating shirts and, you know, we still use the keyword finder. Uh, in conjunction with the Merch Hunter. And if you want to see my previous video on uh, the keyword finder, I'll put that in the description below. But basically we get ideas from here and, you know, we've been putting them up using Merch Informer for the keywords and you know what, they've been selling. Um, you know, for a long time now we have, we have daily sales with the exception of the rare days where there's no sales, but pretty much it's, we make sales every day now and we've been using the Merch Informer software for like, I don't know, two or three months now. And it's been very useful in helping us come up with a more strategic way to come up with ideas rather than just being really, really random, which is what we were doing in the beginning. And there was nothing wrong with that. It's just we want to, we want to be more strategic and choose things that people are actually looking for. So that is all for this video. That is how I use Merch Hunter within Merch Informer to come up with t-shirt designs to create. So after, you know, I let's say I choose this, my wand chose me. First of all, let's see if that has a, a trademark. Always need to make sure. Um, we'll click that. Okay, there's no trademark, so we're good. Um, but basically, I would 
add that to our design ideas list and then Maria would go and create the text and then Arit would go and create the design and then I see that our little chart is filled up and then I would go and upload that design. So that's how, you know, important having a system is and and that's how we've been using Merchant Former these days. All right, guys. Well, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.